will be the privileged users of the 45 km metro network in the city across two corridors. The corridors, partly elevated and partly underground, would run between Washermanpet and Airport and Central Station to St. Thomas Mount. The Washermanpet to Airport corridor would cover a total length of 23 km, of which 14.3 km would be the underground section with the stations Washermanpet, Mannadi, High Court, Central, Government Estate, LIC, Thousand Lights, Germany, Tenampet, Chamiers Road and Saidapet. 8.7 km would run on elevated sections covering Little Mount, Gindi Metro, Arandur, Officers Training Academy, Meenambakam and Airport. The Central to St. Thomas Mount Corridor would cover a total length of 22 km of which 9.7 km would be an underground section with the stations Chennai Central, Egmore, Nehru Park, Kilpok Medical College, Pachepas College, Shenoy Nagar, Annanagar East, Annanagar Tower and Tirumangalam. 12.3 km would run on elevated sections covering Koyambedu, CMBT, Arumbakam, Vadapadani, Ashoknagar, KK Nagar, Sidko, Alandur and St. Thomas Mount. Both the corridors meet at the underground station at Chennai Central and at the elevated station at Alandur. Passengers can interchange the corridors here and continue with their journey. The advantages are many. For instance, the Chennai Metro aims at a 50 to 75 percent reduction in journey time depending on road conditions. The distance from CMBT to St. Thomas Mount will be covered in 16 minutes. A passenger from Washerman Pet can reach airport in 40 minutes, while a passenger from Chennai Central can reach Tirumangalam in 16 minutes. To begin with, the frequency would be a train every 5 minutes. This will be further reduced depending on the patronage. Chennai Metro Rail System is expected to remove 13 lakh passengers per day from the roads by the year 2026, save 100 lives in a year by reducing fatal accidents and avoid 500 non-fatal accidents per annum. The fare structure is designed in such a way so as to make it affordable for the common man. The metro has been found to have the lowest carbon emission amongst various modes of mass transport. It would cause no air pollution in the city. With lesser noise levels, the noise pollution factor is also considerably lesser. For a four-car metro rake composition, the capacity will be 1,276 persons including seating and standing. Four coach metro train will remove 16 buses, 300 cars or 600 two-wheelers from the road at peak hours. Passengers can enjoy uninterrupted mobile and internet connectivity throughout their journey. All coaches have a state-of-the-art design. Its lightweight body made of stainless steel uses clean technology and is energy efficient. The metro requires one-fifth energy per passenger for a kilometer as compared to the road-based system. The cars will be equipped with gangways to facilitate easy movement of passengers from one car to another. Each rake in the metro will have two wheelchair parking locations for the benefit of the physically challenged. All the coaches are air-conditioned. The safety aspects in the metro are designed to give utmost security to the passenger, be it the video surveillance systems, firefighting systems, emergency buttons in every coach to alert the driver, passenger emergency intercoms, regenerative braking system, automatic train protection ATP or the automatic train operation ATO. All the cars are provided with electrically operated bi-parting automatic sliding doors to ensure the safety of passengers. A state-of-the-art depot for the purpose of berthing the trains during non-operational hours and for carrying out various maintenance cycles is being built at Kodambide. The depot will feed the trains into the system as per operating requirements. A modern operations control center will be located inside the depot from where 
all train movements and operational activities will be closely monitored around the clock. Metro stations will have adequate provisions like escalators and lifts to make it as friendly to the elderly and the physically challenged. One of the unique features of the Chennai Metro would be the provision of platform screen doors in all underground stations. This would enable more space for the passengers at the station as well as render complete safety to the passengers. CCTV systems, automatic fare collection system, automatic announcement system, electronic information display boards, electronic route map, feeder bus services are other features of this state-of-the-art metro system. Passengers can be relaxed in the air-conditioned comfort in underground stations. To top everything, the Chennai Metro will be a completely integrated approach to solving transportation woes. Connecting with the other transportation hubs, the Chennai Metro is linked with Chennai's airport. It is especially notable that the Chennai Metro is the first project in India to connect to the airport right in the first phase. It would connect long distance train services at Central Railway Station, Egmore Railway Station, St. Thomas Mount Station and Gindi Station. The suburban train services at Fort, Chennai Central, Chennai Egmore, St. Thomas Mount and Gindi too will be connected by Metro. Further, the MRTS services at Fort, Central, Chintadripet and St. Thomas Mount will also be connected by the Metro. Long distance Mufasil bus services at CMBT Koyambedu bus stand, Ashoknagar and Alandur are well connected by the Metro. The Chennai Monorail project recently announced by Government of Tamil Nadu is likely to be connected with Metro rail system at Alandur and Vadaparani stations. The interconnectivity with the other modes of transport will be accomplished through many measures. There will be a common ticketing system that can be used for other modes of transport. This will be in the form of a card that can be debited each time of travel in whichever public mode of transport chosen. Park and ride facilities will be introduced wherever feasible. Towards this end, multi-level parking facilities are planned near the metro stations. Metro stations will be linked with the other modes of transport through escalators, walkerators, walkways, wherever possible. There will be feeder bus services at terminal and peripheral stations. The entry and exit of metro stations will be provided in close proximity to the nearest railway station, bus stops or traffic junctions. The Chennai metro stations are also located within a kilometer of the nearest bus depots and local bus stands like the Vallalar Nagar, Broadway, Annanagar, Vadaparani, KK Nagar and Saidapet for ensuring further connectivity. The metro rail will cover all the important locations and passenger hubs like hospitals and its colleges, the Government General Hospital, Stanley Medical Hospital, Kilpok Medical Hospital and the proposed multi-super speciality hospital at government estate, apart from reputed private hospitals. The metro also will cover in its route other important schools like St. George's School and colleges like Kannika Parameshwari and Bharati Women's College at Mannadi, Pachayapas College, SIET College, Nandanam Arts College, YMCA College for Physical Education, Kandasami Naidu College, Veerammal College and many more. Places like High Court, Government Estate, Commercial Hub of Paris Corner are all well connected by the metro. The Chennai Metro connects the three arterial roads of Anna Sale, EVR Sale and Jawaharlal Nehru Sale. By 2015, Chennaiites will have reasons to rejoice. The two corridors that will traverse 45 kilometers through the city will definitely be one of the greatest blessings we have been hoping for. The Chennai Metro Rail construction utilizes state-of-the-art technology in tunnel boring, 
construction of underground stations and in girder launching of course it's true that we may have to face some hardships when the construction is happening but chennai metro rail limited assures to set right disruptions the environment is one of the major concerns of the chennai metro rail limited being aware that sudden trees may come in the way of construction much care and precaution will be taken to ensure minimal interference with the green cover so far cmrl has planted 16000 saplings in the city no tree would be felled unnecessarily the trees would be pruned if inevitable then it would be considered for transplantation to another area if this is not possible then for every tree cut there would be 12 trees planted as compensation saplings have been planted in vacant open areas annexing the sewage treatment plants of chennai metro water supply and sewerage board located in the different zones of chennai besides this other areas such as government market yard government institutions educational institutions upcoming large commercial or residential townships are also under consideration for tree sapling plantation the two parks nehru park at kill park and the tiruvika park at chennai nagar that are temporarily not functional now due to metro work will be restored to their glory once the work is complete the slum dwellers whose settlements are being affected due to the metro system construction are being rehabilitated with a tnscb flat for each family so far over 500 project affected families have been rehabilitated in tamil nadu slum clearance board flats the inconvenience cost would also include traffic diversions when part of the road will be blocked for underground constructions the chennai metro rail limited is working in close association with the traffic police to ease the situation to the best possible scenario during such times this temporary inconvenience is regretted it is just a matter of time let us today unitedly support the chennai metro in making a better tomorrow for all of us this metro is but ours